Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And I know it may seem like it's impossible, but guys, I'm back. It's been five months. I'm back with another video. After five months, I've been procrastinating posting for so long, but now I'm back. I'm ready for another video. And today's video, we're going to be doing a request by John Thurtello, otherwise known as Cello Dev on our Discord server. And he's asked us to do a bob. And he's asked us to do a bob effect on Roblox Studio. And we're going to be doing that. And we're going to be doing a lot more in the future. So, today we're going to be doing a camera bobbing effect when walking and whatnot. And the custom sounds we'll be doing in another video. Let's get scripting this camera bobbing effect, which is going to be super simple. Well, let's, let's start. It's a really simple script. So, what we got to do, guys. Over here, we're going to create a script on our local script. In starter character scripts, we're going to create a local script. And I'm going to call it... Camera bobbing, obviously. Bob, Bob, camera Bob. I don't know. I don't know how to spell bobbing. I don't even know what the. Uh, I don't even know. So we got this. We delete that. We don't need that. What we gotta do, guys, is it's super simple. We need run service. Game get service run service. What we're gonna do? What we're doing here is going to the, is we're going to the game and we're getting the run service uh, little thing in our game. Now we need our player. So local player is equal to game dot players dot local player because we're in a local script. We can get the player easily. Now what we have to do is local character is equal to player wait for child character. And after that, we just need our humanoid. So local humanoid is equal to character wait for child humanoid. Now that we have all our main components. So now we're going to do run service dot render step to colon connect function. And that's going to that's going to um, run our script. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to create an infinite loop that's going to keep running every every frame, you know. So what we're going to do is local time is equal to tick. So if I actually print time, which is probably going to crash out my computer, and hopefully it doesn't. So let me add a little wait here. I am so dumb right now. I did a wait for child on the character. Well, guys, don't do that. Make sure not to do that. That was the dumbest mistake I've ever done. It is just player.character, guys. Just player.character. But yeah, let's run this script. Let's run this script. And as we can see here, this is just running the time on our output, the current time. Let's continue. Let's remove these two little lines. Now we're just going to check if we're going forward. So if humanoid.movedirection.magnitude. And that's getting... That's getting the vector of our direction. It's getting like the where we're going. And this is just getting the magnitude to see if we're actually moving forward. And if we are, it's going to be greater than zero. Then now we actually need to get the vectors of where we move our camera when we walk. So what we need to actually get is uh, what we need to change is the camera offset of our player. And that's going to be the humanoid camera offset. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I can't believe uh, AI just wrote that for me, but... Alright, so what we're going to do is local x is equal to math.cos. That's getting the cosine. And we're going to do time dot time times by 10 divided by 5. That's going to get our x value of the bob. Then we're going to do local y is equal to math dot abs math dot sine. This is going to get the absolute value so that if it's negative, we're going to get the positive value. So then time times 10 and the same as this. So now that we have the two values, we're going to do local total value or like our total vector is vector 3 dot new. We're going to put in the X value, the Y value and the Z value, which will not change. So zero. And now all we have to do is humanoid dot camera offset is equal to humanoid dot camera offset pull on lerp which is kind of like a tween it's it, it changes the position but it smoothens it smoothens it out so we're gonna do total and then we're gonna do 0 0.25 just the time it takes for this uh lerp uh to happen and now all we have to do is else humanoid dot camera offset i actually misspelled humanoid but it doesn't matter dot camera offset times 0 0.75 and that's gonna kind of imitate a camera bob effect so let's test this whoa whoa let's test this out guys let's test this out and let's see if it actually works so we have our position it's normal as soon as i start walking we have our little bobble effect if i stop walking it's normal i start walking it bobs so if we like 
if we go here in first person we can see it bob and if we guys want to increase this value we want to increase the amount of bob we can do like let's say 2.5 and that's going to give us a much larger value for the range of positions that it goes in so as you can see here it starts to bob a lot more than it did before now if we want to go even more or we can modify it for example maybe i want the x value to be bobbing more than the y value let's put the y value to something like four now we'll be able to see that the x value moves side to side a lot more than the y value but i think to make it look good i would personally make the y value a lot the x value a lot um bigger and the y value a lot smaller so that we would have the it moving up and down more maybe a little less than that you know but yeah that pretty much gives us a nice little camera bob effect we kind of move here our camera especially in first person this is really nice for first person games it makes it quite immersive we can see here that as we move our camera moves with us and it's very customizable there's a lot of things that we can do to change this but yeah now that we have that so basically to get you guys to understand what this loop does what this entire script actually does is run service render step runs a uh, loop every frame of of your computer and basically here we're just getting the time and over here we're getting the uh oscillations of uh, the x and y values and basically we know that cause i don't know if you guys know but this is maths basic uh, this is like maths knowledge but cause and sine they go from zero to one they go in like this s shape so they go in like this s shape from zero to one and what we're kind of doing here is we're getting the cause value of this um, time value. We're getting a the cause value of this time value. We're timesing it by 10. And then we're dividing it by 4, which is going to affect our um, how much it moves up and down. We want the y value to be math.abs because we don't want the y value to, to be negative. But the x value can be negative because it moves from left to right. And the y just moves from up to down so basically what we're just doing is over time the x value will be going side to side y will be going up and down in different times because uh cause and sine are two different waves but yeah they will be basically moving in this loop um creating this illusion of a camera movie but yeah guys that's pretty much it for but i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope it i hope it was helpful if you guys have any issues or things to add to the script make sure to comment it down below or join my discord server where we can help you out but yeah overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe it does help out the channel a lot expect a lot more videos to come in the future because they will for sure big john really liked your big john liked your uh big john really enjoyed the fact that you guys watched this video uh this is this uh, this video i had to i had to post because of big john it's because big john uh, forced me to post but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Bye!